TJ Maxx Tour of Gymnastics Champions, live in your hometown. You will marvel as these gymnasts deliver gymnastics in a creative and entertaining atmosphere that will leave you smiling from ear to ear. Kickstart your senses to music, lights, and drama. Don't miss this opportunity to see extraordinary gymnastics like you've never seen before. Tickets on sale now at the Arena Box Office, all Ticket West outlets, ticketswest.com, or call 325-SEAT or 800-325-SEAT. This is the All-State NBC Sports Update. The countdown is on at Rainy Belmont Park. A live look at the track where later today, Smarty Jones will make his bid to become part of horse racing history. Hi, everyone. Bill Weber at our New York studios. The Visa U.S. Gymnastics Championships presented by Venus Divine are next. We're in the Music City at the Gaylord Center for the 2004 Visa U.S. Gymnastics Championships, one of the final steps to earn a trip to Athens and the Summer Olympics in about two months. It's the first of two days of competition, and the major players include Carly Patterson, long anointed as the next American gymnastics star. Last year at this time, she was hurt but recovered to lead the USA to a gold medal at the World Championships. Courtney Kupetz never had that chance. Underneath that nasty six-inch scar, is a once torn, now repaired Achilles tendon. Can a gymnast come back from that kind of injury and compete at the highest level? That question gets answered here. Now Anya Hatch is a seven-time Cuban national champion who can now compete for the United States. But 25 is an age that could make the coaches look the other way. She wants to convince them otherwise and that her injured knee is okay. And then there's Tasha Schweikert, a top performer for the last four years who may be making the transition to the next phase of her life. How much does she want the Olympics before that happens? Welcome, everybody, to Nashville, Tennessee. Al Troutwick, along with Olympic gold medalist Tim Daggett, L.B. Schlegel, the greatest gymnast Canada's ever produced, and on the floor, Andrea Joyce. We'll start things off with Courtney McCool. We got our first glimpse of her at the Visa American Cup at Madison Square Garden when she raised a lot of eyebrows by taking second in the all-around. And a couple of those eyebrows belong to Marta Caroli, the team coordinator for the USA women's gymnastics team. One of a selection committee of three, but really a very powerful person in who decides gets on that plane and travels to Athens this summer. She said of Courtney's first two major international meets, she actually overperformed. She was better than she thought she would be. That is a huge compliment coming from Marta. And what makes Courtney so special is that she is, in the eyes of the international judges, someone who could possibly win an all-around gold medal on top of helping a team like the United States win a team gold medal. We spoke with Marta earlier and she kind of chuckled. She said at the test event in Athens, she said even the Russians, they came up to us and they were like, darn you, you, you got another one. And that was well before she even won the competition. They recognized the talent in this young lady. She has such a preciseness, a lightness on the balance beam. Beautiful dance. As you can see, her form is just impeccable. This, of course, all bodes well for her because it's appreciated by international judges. It will score very well. Oh, I great thought start. I saw her almost lose her footing there on the dismount. You know, actually, right at the end there, on her round off, she almost misses her foot. Here's that dismount. She'll turn her body around on a round off, and let's look at those feet there. She just barely gets those down, and then a triple fold, a little bit short on the landing. It'll cost her just a bit, but a great start as one of her coaches, Armine. 9-6, Courtney McCool. Now, what's going to happen between the competitions today and tomorrow? We're going to have a national champion. Very well could be Carly Patterson. But that really doesn't mean anything as far as the Olympics are concerned. Then later on this month on NBC, we'll take you to Anaheim, California for the Olympic trials. And even then, nothing will be guaranteed as far as the Olympics. Only after that, at the Caroli Ranch in Houston, will the six-member team and three alternates be chosen. Carly starting out on vault. 
lot of power. Mm -hmm. Same vault that Carly performed at the World Championships last year. Of course, this vault is easy for Carly. It's only out of a 9.7. What about the big hop? Well, that's going to cost her. She had a lot of power. You know, first event, her coach, Evgeny Marchenko there. You got the extra juice in you, and sometimes you go just a bit too hard. She explodes off the horse here. Kind of rounds her body just a little bit too much and has to take that hop forward on the landing. Going to get a good score, but not going to bring in one of those huge numbers. Just days before the American Cup at the Garden in New York, her coach had lost his mother back in Russia. He just got to New York in time, and she dedicated that total sweep in New York City to him and her memory. Now to Anya Hatch. She fell in love with her husband, Alan. They now run a gym up in Connecticut after they met in Puerto Rico, and now at the age of 25, she's trying to come back from a major knee injury and get to the Olympics representing the United States. And I'll tell you, one of the disasters of this past summer, this poor young woman was in the best shape of her entire life and right before the event blew out her knee, her ACL, and truly she would not just have been a part of that team, but was at that time certainly the best vaulter in the world. What's remarkable to me is it was just two weeks ago that Anya competed in her full all-around competition at a friendly international meet at the Caroli Ranch, and here she is, her second outing. It's just incredible the amount of skill level that she has back. Just about every gymnast comes back from an injury at some point in their career, but few with as major a one as Courtney Kupetz. We'll get a look at her next. The 2004 Visa United States Gymnastics Championships are brought to you by Visa. The only card accepted at the U.S. Olympic Team Trials for Gymnastics and the Olympic Games. By the new Venus Divine, reveal the goddess in you. And by the new Chevrolets, 10 new cars and trucks in 20 months, an American revolution. Moments ago in Nashville, Anya Hotch got a 9.275. Now to Liz Tricasse, just a couple of years ago, she was the national vault champion. Here she's at it again two years later. And now this event for Liz is all about power. She is one of the toughest vaulters in this competition, double twisting Yurchenko. As Elfie said, huge power. Going to get a very nice score. Just that big step back on the landing, but... Giant vault. One thing about Liz is she is always very happy, very <laughs> positive, and she always finds time to cheer for everyone else in the look, arena. Look at the height. That, fantastic. She also had a knee injury that set her back quite a bit, but has bounced back incredibly well. Speaking of bouncing back, a ruptured Achilles tendon. Think about that and think about all the pounding that that tendon must take to be a successful gymnast. That's on the ankle of Courtney Kupetz. How amazed are you that she's here? Well, you know, and looks like she's going to make the team. Well, that's that's the differentiation right there. Not just that she looks.